morning. Uh, today is another MM Shake Drill activity by the government and our club DX1 ARM is conducting its own uh, simulated emergency test uh, radio communication drill or whatever you call it. Okay, I'm going to make it real fast because I'm late and the drill is going to start in a few minutes. Okay, I had a bit of a rush this morning. I was supposed to take a very nice video, a much improved video of the second MM Metro Manila Shake Drill happening this day, June 22, 2016 here in Manila, Philippines. Uh, I had to wake up, I wanted to wake up early this morning but I had to do a lot of overtime work uh, yesterday, uh, last night, so I wasn't able to wake up early this morning. Anyway, uh, I, the video this morning was uh, a bit rushed and it's not very entertaining to watch. So I'll just show you the teardown. The drill is already over and I'm going to pack up soon. Uh, okay, this, so this is my entire uh, field station. Uh, there's my tripod on the right. I'm using an ICOM IC2300H connected to a mobile antenna it's a diamond sg2000 with some diy ground radials for better propagation and better swr i just use a eight meter long uh, rg58 for the feed line and earlier i connected an swr meter between the feed line and the radio just to make sure that everything's okay but eventually I removed it because I thought it was gonna rain earlier and I started packing up. Anyway, I used my folding bike. It's a tiny folding bike. Tiny folding bike for my body because I'm a fairly bit I'm a fairly big person and I look like a clown on a unicycle when I ride that bike. Anyway, I chose this bike for this drill for two reasons first uh, for practical purposes it has a rack at the back wherein i can attach this big 40 amp hour battery and also uh, this bike is always in the trunk of our car or my car whenever i go places in case of emergency i can use this bike as a transport uh, and sometimes I leave it at home when I, ex I mean I expect to stay at home long 
because uh, it can go it can bring me to places that a car can't bring me to in case of a catastrophic earthquake there are a few bridges around the, our house which might probably collapse um, if there's a big earthquake and I need a vehicle that I can carry around uh, obstacles and and go my way if I needed to okay so this is my radio my ICOM IC2300 hotel very easy to disassemble everything just remove the feed line remove the power cord remove the mic and I just put this in a cloth bag and a nice pink cloth bag so it will be protected <laughs> so manly my backpack okay so this is my antenna on a light stand the light stand is around nine feet high or nine feet tall with a three foot uh, curtain rod extension i'm gonna pull it down and i'm gonna pull the second section down as well and pull down and remove the coax heat line and just remove the mobile antenna we're getting two so I can transport it uh, later okay, put it on the ground and then hold up this three element radial that I need Remove it around and fold up my camera light stand. I need to in it a little. There we go. I'm just gonna punch the cord then to one of the legs. I can carry it later. what I do first I, I hold it with one hand uh, wind it normally then instead of holding it like this I twist my hand uh, 180 degrees and pull it like this okay then wind normally again then 180 again this way when I pull it back um, there will be no twists, there will be no coils formed and I can just uh, and carefully pull that whole roll out and not worry about forming coils or kinks in the cable so just keep on doing that reverse, normal, reverse yeah, there are a ton of YouTube videos showing that technique and I think it works best for feed lines like this wherein kinks and coils are uh, dangerous for the cable then I just put everything in my backpack my pencil my portable radio spot it 
Thanks for watching.